the year 2024 will bring many changes for all zodiac signs. To find out how the next 12 months will be for your sign, please watch this video until the end. In January, you will focus on your career. Until the 23rd of January, the stars support you if you work abroad or with foreigners, in a multinational company, in the field of tourism, higher education or in the legal field. After the 23rd, you will have a good period professionally. You are charismatic and bosses, colleagues and clients appreciate you. Especially towards the end of the month, there will be discussions about finances in the professional sphere. This could involve, for example, a salary raise or signing a contract that brings you money. On January 21st, Pluto moves into Aquarius, bringing changes regarding your goals, friendships and relationships with the team you work with or other groups of people. Pluto in Aquarius will influence you for several years to come, which is why I will publish a separate horoscope solely on this subject. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn the notifications on so you don't miss that horoscope. In February 2024, your goals and friendship relationships will be at the center of your attention. On the 5th, it's important to talk with your friends or to participate in meetings with many people. By speaking with others, you might get an idea or learn information that will help you achieve your goals. Starting from February 13, you will strive with even more ambition to accomplish what you've set out to do. Especially around February 14, you could make considerable progress. The only problem is that you might act a bit too aggressively and end up in conflicts with other persons. Around February 16, a roughly one-month period begins during which you will get along well with your friends and succeed while working in a team or giving a speech. Last but not least, during this period, you might start a romantic relationship with a friend or with someone introduced to you by your friends. After February 19, you'll prefer to step away from the limelight and focus on yourself. You will need to recharge, to meditate and to relax. On the last day of the month, you might receive some good news, probably related to finances. I recommend you take this news with a grain of salt until the 4th of March. On that day, it might be proven that the respective information wasn't entirely accurate. If it's not about the news from February 29th, then something else related to money or moral values could disappoint you on the 4th of March. Avoid making significant decisions on this day, especially if it means compromising your principles and refrain from making major investments now as you don't have a clear picture of the situation. From the 10th and especially after the 20th of March, you will once again engage more with the world and communicate more with others. However, romantic relationships become less interesting to you now. If you're single and begin a relationship nonetheless, you'll prefer to keep it secret for a while. Those already in a relationship will prefer not to go out with their loved one, but spend time together at home or in a secluded place. Even if you're not currently focused on relationships, March 25th could bring an important change regarding marriage or your significant other. What happens on this day could influence you until September 2024. From the 22nd of March until the end of April, you will have less physical energy, yet you'll feel a strong inner restlessness. Additionally, this period might be marked by insomnia. Strangely, however, some Aries individuals will feel perfectly rested, even if they sleep much less than usual during this time. In April, several important events will take place right in your zodiac sign. Mercury will be retrograde, there's a solar eclipse, and Venus and Mars will move into your sign. Mercury will be retrograde from the very first day of the month and until April 25th. From the 5th of April, Venus will also be in your sign. During this period, you'll tend to act impulsively concerning love, relationships and money. However, you must be cautious. With Mercury retrograde, it's a bad idea to act without careful consideration. The decisions you make and the information you receive during this time 
will change after April 25th. The solar eclipse on the 8th of April urges you to make a change. It might involve your physical appearance or your personality. You will recognize your sensitive points and where you are going wrong and now you will decide to make these changes. Nonetheless, I recommend that you only make plans now and put them into action after April 25th. The eclipse's effects will last up to six months, giving you enough time to implement these changes. The days of April 19th, 20th and 21st will be important. Especially on these days and in the following period, you might receive good news financially or make a change that helps you earn money. However, I remind you that Mercury is still retrograde, so it might be wise to postpone certain decisions. If a sum of money is promised to you now, you might receive it a bit later. On the 25th of April, we will be free from retrograde Mercury and you can begin implementing the plans we discussed earlier. Especially on the financial front, more good news will come starting from April 29th. After the 30th of April, Mars will be in your sign for about a month, giving you a lot of energy and ambition. You have good chances to achieve your goals. Just be a little bit careful. You tend to react more aggressively than in other periods and you make risky decisions. In May, you will focus on your financial situation. Not in the sense that problems arise, but quite the opposite. You will seek new ways to earn more money. The stars assist you in this, especially in the second half of the month. On the 25th of May, an important astrological event occurs. Jupiter moves into another zodiac sign. From that day and until June 2025, you will be more optimistic, finding greater pleasure in everyday tasks and in conversations with others. You will succeed in negotiations and you will have a desire to learn new things with the stars aiding your memory. Hence, it will be a particularly good period for students and for persons taking personal development courses or learning a new language. Regarding learning and negotiations, you will have extra support in the first week of June. From the 9th of June, your ambition reaches a peak concerning finances. You will try new things to improve your earnings and pursue your goals with great ambition. However, be cautious between June the 10th and the 16th. You might act too aggressively or for other reasons, conflicts or bad news related to money may arise. After the 17th of June, you will focus on family and home matters. From June 29th onwards, there might be some issues regarding marriage, a romantic relationship or a business partnership. In July, you will continue to focus on family matters as well as on a romantic relationship or your relationship with children if you have any. Particularly after the 11th of July, you will have a good period of time. If you're single, it's crucial to get out there because you might meet someone with whom you start a romantic relationship. It will also be a good time to discover or rediscover some artistic talents and passions. It's truly worth doing so because you might even earn some money by using these talents. After the 20th and even more after the 25th of July, you will have a lot of things on your mind. You might feel restless in the coming weeks, organizing your schedule a bit chaotically and possibly forgetting things. Therefore, I recommend you write down your ideas and everything you want to do so nothing remains undone. August brings a lot of work, especially some difficulties in the workplace. From August the 4th, Mercury is retrograde again, influencing your career. Despite receiving support from Venus and possibly even money, you need to be cautious. Even more than in July, you will think rather chaotically and your plans get messed up. It would be wise not to make significant decisions at this time or at least refrain from implementing them now. Around the 19th, you might receive some unpleasant news or something might bother you. However, my advice would be not to despair. With Mercury retrograde, things could change towards the end of the month. It would be ideal to have a flexible schedule right now. If you have important mail or emails to send, make sure they reach the recipient. 
Also, if they aren't urgent, I would recommend postponing medical tests until after August 28th. After the 15th of August, there could be some misunderstandings in a romantic relationship or related to children, but these issues will likely be solved after August 28th or in September. Regarding love, I would advise against starting a new relationship between the 15th and 28th of August. However, from August 29th onwards, you will have a good period concerning love and relationships of all kinds. In January 2024, an extremely important astrological event takes place, one that will influence us for several years. Pluto moves into Aquarius. I will upload separate videos about this transit. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn the notifications on so you don't miss those videos. However, in September Pluto is retrograde and returns to Capricorn, the sign where it has been for the past few years. In your case, it will particularly influence your career, public image and social status. If you have unfinished business in these areas, you'll have the opportunity to conclude them between September 1st and November 19th, 2024. This might involve, for example, the desire to change your job. Also, if you are thinking about divorcing but haven't taken the step yet, Retrograde Pluto in Capricorn might give you the necessary courage to make the final decision. From the 4th of September, you'll focus on family and home matters. It's a good period if you intend to renovate your home. However, be cautious not to injure yourself. Additionally, conflicts with the family may arise, especially if you're trying to assert your point of view. Around September 18th, I recommend not getting upset at work and avoiding working too much. Stress could lead to health problems. Also, on this day, it would be wise not to disclose too much information as it might lead to workplace gossip. Such gossip could affect you for several months to come. After the 22nd of September, you will concentrate mainly on marriage and other relationships, such as a business partnership. Around September 25th, you might receive bad news regarding your career or social status. The circumstances may force you to let go of certain things or separate from certain people. You may not be able to act as you wish. It's crucial now to recognize and accept what the issues are. It's important to remain calm, exercise self-discipline and adapt quickly to the situation. This way, you will manage to navigate through this challenging time successfully. In October, the focus is on relationships, particularly a romantic relationship or marriage. On the 2nd of October, a solar eclipse occurs, helping you in this area and influencing you for the coming months. If you're single, you might meet an interesting person in the upcoming period. If you are already in a relationship, you could make an important step, such as an engagement or marriage between October 2024 and March 2025. If you plan to take out a bank loan or are expecting money from someone, after the 13th of October is a good period. Besides that, from the 17th onwards, consider taking a few days off because you need some adventure, a trip or anything else that helps you escape from daily chores. November is slightly complicated. You still prefer to evade responsibilities, your mind isn't focused on work, but you need to redirect your attention to your career. As mentioned earlier, until November 19th, you have the chance to address unfinished matters from 2023, so take the time to finalize what needs to be completed. From November 25th to December 15th, Mercury is retrograde once again. If you plan a trip now, expect delays or some issues. Professionally and personally, I recommend being cautious about where you place important documents and refraining from engaging in discussions on controversial topics. As if that wasn't enough, from the 4th of December, Mars will be retrograde too. In your case, it will mainly influence a romantic relationship or the relationship with children if you have any. Until the 15th of December, your thoughts will be chaotic, so I advise against making significant decisions, especially regarding investments or risky actions. 
Even though generally people are on vacation during the holiday season, starting from December 22nd, you will focus on your career. At the year's end, you might witness some positive outcomes, such as receiving a better job or being promoted. These are the most important events for your zodiac sign in 2024. To find out more details for each month, subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn the notifications on.